What's up guys, Tech Guys 56 and in today's video I'm going to be doing a video on the top 5 apps I use on a daily basis on my iPhone 6. This, uh, most of the apps on, on the, in this video are probably going to be both Android and iOS applications so you shouldn't have a problem there. So let's get into this video now. So number five on this list is going to be a really cool application that actually allows you to get free gift cards for things like micro, uh, the Microsoft Store or PSN points, and for for iOS for iTunes you can get iTunes cards. You can also get uh, Amazon gift cards, PayPal gift cards, all stuff like that on this application here called Feature Points, which is actually a really really cool application. You basically download free applications and the more applications you download, the more points you get. You can also refer referral friends. And if you guys want to uh, join the, the application, it, you can use my code. I'll have a link to it in the description down below. My referral code is THPP3S. I'll have a link down below. I can, I can send you guys this link. Anyway, so the rewards are you can choose your own app. So let, select the app from the App Store. You can also get $2 for PayPal. You can get five dollar Starbucks card, ten dollar PlayStation Network card. You can get a ten dollar gift card to Xbox, a ten dollar iTunes gift card. You can get a five hundred dollar iPad Air 2, which is gonna be a lot of points, as you can see here. You can get uh, some applications, Amazon gift cards, PayPal gift cards, more Xbox gift cards, a Steam gift card, and even an iPad Mini right now. A lot of these things aren't that overpriced uh, when it comes to points at all uh, obviously the, the higher it goes the higher the more points you're going to need which will be more difficult to get the high, uh, the bigger the price you want to get depends on how many applications you download though and applications all you got to do is really open the application once you download them and it pay, pretty much registers right away so please guys do uh, use my referral code so I can get points as well and I can do more school stuff and giveaways for this channel if uh, I get enough points to get a gift card, I will give it away if you guys give me enough points. Anyways, let's get on to number four. Number four on my list is actually a game, which is Boom Beach, which has quickly become my favorite uh, game. It's basically a lot like a game probably a lot of people heard of called Clash of Clans, but I saw a lot of commercials for it. And you probably see, maybe saw this commercial on Super Bowl weekend. So basically, you have a bunch of like sawmills and you have a quarry and then you have residents that give you gold and the sawmill gets you wood obviously and the quarry gives you uh, stone and you also have iron and stuff like that and with that with those items with those uh things you can buy uh, different towers that can defend your city or your little camp and uh, you can also upgrade your radar which has to do with this right here the higher your radar the more bases that you can attack and also the more real players you can actually attack so for example here I'll attack one of these bases with my troops here and in the beginning you start off with like two boats and you you start off with uh, what's called you start off with riflemen which are the basic troop that you get the first one right here they are pretty low health they have a pretty good amount of damage they can do, and they have medium range and they're pretty moderate when it comes to their speed. And then you get the heavy which is basically a guy with a lot of health and does pretty much minimum damage but it's basically there just to take shots. And then have people like this in the background like Azuka which is basically a person with a rocket launcher that has a lot of damage, has a really long range and moves really slow and has very low health. And then you have Warrior which does a lot of damage while having minimum like not minimum health but not a lot of health it's like moderate health it's very fast and it's a melee so you can't really have any range on it at all you know next you have the tank which is very slow has long range and has pretty good damage then you have the medic which just heals up your troops and then you have the grenader that has pretty good amount of damage very very long uh, range and a lot of and pretty good amount of health then you have this new one right here, which is the Scorcher, has a lot, a lot of health and a lot of damage per second here 
also has medium range and moderate speed. Also, what's really cool about the Scorcher is that it attacks one thing and then goes to another thing. It really, since once you set something on fire, you can also, uh, go, uh, it stays on fire for a little bit, so it moves around a little bit and very fluently. Anyway, those are the logistics of the application. Basically, attack bases here, and which is pretty cool. I'll show you one really, really quickly. I'll attack this base. If I fail or not, I might fail, but I'm gonna tr try for you guys here. So you get bumbo, gumbo energy with this, with the gumbo energy. You can have bombs. You can bomb their, their other towers right here, and then you can also have a heal a med kit right there that heals up your troops. And also this tells your troops where to go, and this one freezes the towers. So right now, I'll just set up my heavies real quick. And then set up my Zookas behind them. So the heavies are taking all the damage while my Zookas will blow these other to uh, towers out of the water. So the massive damage you do. I'm going to heal up these ones right here because these, these heavies are obviously just abandoning my Zookas. Have the Zookas take out these because my heavies take a lot of damage. We're pretty much done after that. Freeze those guys up for a few seconds so that way we can take out the last towers and... We are good. This guy wants to go over there and do some other damage to these little uh, boxes. Hopefully, he doesn't die. I think we lost. We lost one heavy, but that's all good. Throw this last bomb at him, and it was too late. But anyways, that's the logistics of this application game. It's really fun. I really enjoy it. Uh, if you want to, you guys can join my task force. It's real ones. Pretty simple. Let me get that in focus for you guys. There you go, real ones. Join it. Anyways, that's Boom Beach on my number four on my list of my top five applications I use. So number three on my list has to be Snapchat. It's a really great application. I like it a lot. You basically can send little pictures to your friends and stuff like that. And here's my Snapchat. If you want to add me, all you do is scan it with your phone. If you're using some computer to scan this screen with your computer uh, with your phone and you can add me on snapchat if you want to but basically just send pictures or videos of people like yeah my dog I'm filming a video on snapchat about snapchat it's by Canon T5i my dog my dog and you can draw on it you can also type stuff on it but after you draw something on you can't type after that but anyways yeah that's pretty much it with snapchat pretty simple it's like basically an application where you can message people you can also message people i can be like yo my dog you chilling fixing and trilling okay that's snapchat and then my number two on my list of my favorite applications that i use most of uh, daily is instagram which is a really great application you guys want to add me on there my name is Egan's. I also have an uh, Instagram for this account, which is TechGuys56. You guys will add me on there, and that would be quite appreciated. Basically, what it is, you can post pictures of whatever you want and put a little caption below it with hashtags or whatever you want. As you can see, as an example, I better call Saw an application uh, uh, TV show. I posted that it was my new favorite TV show. As you can see right here, it says that. And I put, that's what I put as a caption. People can comment on it, they can like it double tap to like you just click there to comment pretty simple and you can also post 15 second videos as you can see here and you tap for volume and it's also like a uh, volume where it loops if you don't do it if you keep it on here it just loops basically and that's pretty much it and you can also you follow people like twitter and facebook whatever and you can just basically look at their inf their you look at your feed and it'll have their their posts on it as you can see I follow people like Raywin Johnson like he posted something right here basically scroll down look at all the, p the posts that people put up it's pretty simple very simple application but very addictive so number one on my list is an application that you're probably on right now which is YouTube also a website and basically if you don't know what YouTube is I don't know how you're watching this video with YouTube, basically, you can watch videos of other people that post videos. You can subscribe to their channels, and then you get their videos on your subscription feed right here. 
You can like those videos. You can subscribe. You can uh, comment on those videos, saying whatever you want, hate, don't hate, whatever you want to do. And there's also related videos down here. You basically all know what YouTube is. I'm pretty sure since you're watching this video on YouTube right now. Anyways, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Get me to 800 subscribers as soon as possible right now. I'm at 777. Anyways, that's it for this video. My top 5 applications I use on the daily. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like this video. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. It is free and you can see whenever I post new videos just like this one. Or videos on anything at all. Like new tech, unboxings, reviews. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe.